Hi, I'm Milton Rendell and welcome to Real News Friday. And no doubt, like you, I've had enough. But anyway, let's, let's get back to what's happening in real estate. And uh, as I sit here all alone in my room without anybody else, because no one can come within a thousand miles of me as I'm trying to do today's video. Anyway, most important part that you guys are interested in is how is the market going? Uh, look, coming up to Anzac Day, it was 979 sales recorded, which was, was up 1% of the previous week. Stock levels are sitting at 8,737, which is up about 1%, still down 20%, 27% on this time a year ago. Um, but still, we're still staying pretty strong. Now, it'll be interesting when I give you the statistics next week for the week which was affected by COVID. Obviously, the, we had home opens cancelled and uh, we were un unable to do a number of viewings. Um, and obviously, um, t if we had to go to a tenant's property, we we're unable to do that as well because we needed permission and not all tenants wanted people being shown through a home in the middle of a COVID situation. So we may see the figures down next week or a small hiccup. We will see. Uh, I would expect the figures will be down. Uh, in terms of uh, rentals, 2,740 probably still out there. On the markets down another 1%, which is a little bit of a surprise. I thought that may have been up more. But I think what we're seeing is an interesting trend. Um, as people's equities increase in their investment properties, a number of people, I think, who probably held off during the, the main COVID period uh, have decided now to start selling because they can see an increase in their equity. Now, I think I spoke about this probably previously, but I think that's our new trend uh, over the next six to 12 months. We may start seeing a number of uh, landlords starting to cash in and moving on because they would have had their plans delayed during the, uh, the COVID period of 2020. So, I think we're going to see a bit of a catch up where um, people start revisiting the plans that they had prior to the COVID period um, and that would be to probably clear a few assets and place properties on the market. So I think a lot of the new stock going onto the market going forward will probably be ex-rentals um, which then again will place pressure back to, to rentals available. So this scenario at the moment where the rentals are short in supply that may continue I think for at least another three to six months and possibly as long as 12 months if this trend that I've forecasted occurs. Overall, interesting, um, the inquiry rates are still very, very strong. Um, and once again, uh, people are starting to realise as sellers that their equity position is certainly better than it was, uh, say, six to 12 months ago, and now making more investigations in terms of getting appraisals in their property and starting to look at different decision-making. And I think that applies to all. So to the buyers out there, I'm hearing many of you missing out with uh, going in and making offers on properties and multiple offers are occurring. Um, that still seems to be a trend and still seems to be continuing continuing through all different price areas. Some um, locations obviously are less popular than others, but overall I think the market in West Australia is still quite healthy. Um, interesting to see the federal government saying that we look like we'll get under the 5% threshold for uh, unemployment, which then again probably will kick things or maintain things for a longer period. So throughout the rest of 2021 and I think well into 2022 I think the current trends will continue uh, so for the sellers out there it's certainly uh, great for the buyers out there the bit of frustration is starting to occur but that's uh, that's normal it's either one or the other um, having a discussion with a, an old mate of mine about real estate agents that's he says how's the market going so well I can tell you there's one thing consistent about real estate agents that love a whinge. Um, they whinge when there's no buyers out there and they whinge when there's no stock out there. So there's only a very small sweet spot in between where they're ever happy. But uh, that's real estate and that's what I've been watching for the last 30 odd years. Anyway, in the meantime, if there's anything you would like to know or if, we, if Real Estate Plus can help you, jump on the, our website realestateplus.com. I wish you all the best for the weekend and for the following week.